Click on the VTEC Service Monitor H icon to check the status. Double click on the Control 5 icon to start the software. Startup will take about 30 seconds while the software connects to the instrument. While the software starts, turn the laser on by turning the key in the back. Looking at the instrument, you will be moving mainly two parts, the swing arm to go from bright field to ramen mode, and the pool to go from seeing the sample image on the camera to the ramen mode. The software is started. You will notice that the detector is still cooling down. It will take several minutes for the detector to cool down to minus 60 degrees C. However, we can start setting up and using the instrument while the detector continues to cool down. Move the swing arm to the left and pull on the silver lever to go to optical imaging. Click on the auto brightness icon. You can now see the sample if you're focused. If the sample is out of focus, you will not see a clear image. You can adjust the focus by using the controller. The controller has two joysticks. The left joystick is to control the focus up and down. The right joystick is to control the sample position forward, backward, left and right. If you push on the joystick, you will get one step motion. The back buttons control the continuous speed. The top one will go very fast. The lower one has a speed controlled by the magnification of the objective. You may have to adjust what objective you're using. Click the mountain icon to acquire the video image. Now that we have video image, we can set up the system for Raman measurements by switching the appropriate knobs. We need to open the laser shutter by rotating this knob. The laser power is adjusted by rotating this micrometer. The first thing we want to do is use the oscilloscope mode to have a quick look at our pattern. We can click oscilloscope and then start oscilloscope to see a pattern. Now that we see we have good signal, we can stop oscilloscope. Let's now try an option called True Surface. In order to use the True Surface option, we first have to pull the knob for the True Surface optics to be in place. To start True Surface, we click on the icon right above the controller icon. It opens a new pop-up window, then we can click Start. We want to adjust the signal level to get the best results. True Surface is now automatically adjusting the focus of our sample. True surface is especially useful when imaging a sample that is not perfectly flat as it will adjust the focus at each point of the Raman image. Let's now restart the oscilloscope mode. We want to adjust the focus shift. This is the shift between the optical focus of the sample and the true surface focus of the sample. We are all set once we have maximized our signal. We can now set up our large area scan. In the control window, click to expand the large area scan menu. Click to expand the geometry menu. In the listen position drop down, select area once. In the optical image, draw a box over the area you want to image. In the geometry menu, you can adjust the height and width of the area you want to image. In the at every point menu, type in the number of points per line and lines per image you would like to use. Type in the integration time. Let's stop the oscilloscope. Now we can start the large area scan. Confirm that you have sufficient clearance and click OK. The imaging is now started. It will take a few minutes. While collecting the image, we can look at the data. For example, let's use some quick filter. On the spectrum, select the peak of interest. The image produced is now only using the sum of intensity within the highlighted area.
You can also render the image in 3D. By opening the drop action menu, you can do more advanced analyses, such as peak fit, to display various peak parameters. To save the project, go to File, Save Project, then type in the project name of your choice. When you're done, go to File, Exit, save changes to your project if you need. Make sure you let the software fully complete the shutdown. Do not interrupt the shutdown or the camera will stay cooled down. Finally, make sure the laser shutter is closed and turn off the laser by turning the key in the back.